What's going on guys, Uzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So as you see on the screen right now, ATA overall road to the final the pie has been upgraded and we all know we're going to have to do a review on him. So I want to say a big thank you to Ian and Ethan for allowing me to hop on their account and do this review. He, the link will be in the description to their Twitter, so please hit them up with a follow. But let's get straight into it. 90 pace, 88 dribbling, 87 shooting, 87 passing and 83 physical. He looks outstanding. Now, the one thing I would love to upgrade is probably just his shooting. Make it as good as possible so he is as clinical as possible inside the box. 5 foot 9, meta height. High low work rate. Second best attacking work rate. I do prefer high medium, but high low just means he's gonna make gonna be making way more runs. Now the five star skill moves to running scoop turn and the flip flap will be coming out this video. The three star weak foot though is something I'm not looking forward to. The fact that I'm not gonna be able to shoot on that left foot very comfortably could be a problem. Now he has he is on a sniper chemistry style. He is obviously on 10 chem, 90 acceleration, 90 sprint speed. A very, very fast attacker that will be outpacing a lot of center backs. 95 attacking positioning, 99 finishing, 94 shot power. This guy can't finish inside the box, especially with outside foot shot rate. Right? There will be problems, EA. 88 long shots, 90 volleys, and 92 penalties. I had to do a bit of quick maths there. Now, I'll tell you what. If it comes to him, I will bang a long shot. Why not give it a go? It is a play review for uh, play, it is a play review video for a reason. But at the same time, long shots don't really go in this year. I doubt it will probably go in. 91 vision, 89 crossing, 94 free kick accuracy, 85 short passing, 79 long passing, and 91 curve. You already know I'm taking a free kick with this guy if we do obviously get one. But the 85 short passing is going to be very nice. The little give and go, the little one-two should be perfect on this guy. 95 agility. Now, that's something you don't see every day. 88 balance, 88 reactions, 95 ball control, 99 dribbling, and 87 composure. Agility looks outstanding. He should feel very nice on the ball. Should be turning in and out without a problem. He has got 84 stamina, which means up and down the pitch. Shouldn't really be a problem. He's not really going to come uh, back anyways. High, low work rate. 85 strength. It's going to be tough. This guy's going to cause centre-back's problem with that strength. 79 aggression as well, which means he's going to be winning a lot of 50-50s. Now, today I have linked him up with Moments of Serbiel, uh, Want to Watch Benyeda, and Moments Petit. I've also got the likes of Sanson, Ronaldo Sanchez, and Hernandez in the team. I will be using the pie in a 4-4-2, playing him up front with a Zerbiel. Why not? Give it a go. But I do obviously want to try him in that camera, so I will be trying him in a 4-2-3-1 as well. But let's get straight into these games. Now, there's always one thing that I didn't like about the pie is his body type in game. You see how it's very, very bulky. Now, is it bulky in real life? Yes, obviously, because he's got muscle. But come on now, he looks pretty much fat. He's got into the right position. We have got a penalty somehow, some way. Now, me, I don't really think it's a penalty. Guy went for the block. It was an automatic animation. But at the same time, I saw that weak foot shot. That wasn't going nowhere near the goal. But well, we have got Depay on the penalty. 92 penalties. Can we hit it top bins? Hopefully we can. And it's simple as that. Easy goal. It's a great little turn. Great little acceleration. Quick flip flap. Quick fake shot around the corner. A cross goal shot is exactly what I need here. And it's not the greatest finish. I wanted one of those like bullet kind of shots where like, you know, he just follows through on it. And somehow, some way, I actually can't switch here. I couldn't switch. I'm spamming L, but I'm spamming L1 my hardest I've ever can, and I just couldn't switch this game. Nice, very nice turn. Quick ball roll out with the finesse. Oh, come on, Memphis. He needs to be finishing that without a problem. He's wide open, and it's a great angle to just curve it into the far corner. Little free kick tactic. What you're going to do is you're going to fake shot, pass onto it. He's going to run onto it. Quick flip flap. Trust on that left foot, and that's exactly sometimes you just have to trust on it. I understand it's free star, but hey, give it a go. Why not? And that's what you get. You believe in it, you score out of it. Simple as that. Nice, great positioning. Little flip flap around him as well. Drag back. Unbelievable, and that's exactly what that free star happens. Now, I was going to actually try to get an outside foot shot angle there, but once again, I believed in the weaker foot and. Looks like I might have to stop. Serbio. The pie on the outside foot shot. And that's exactly what you're going to get. That outside foot shot angle is ridiculously still overpowered in this game. 
the amount of power, the amount of accuracy, it doesn't give the keeper a chance. And we are going to watch the replay just to watch the ball absolutely get pelted into the back of the net. I actually think it hit top netting. Look at that. Top netting. Keeper had no chance. Beautiful one, two. Get the outside foot shot angle once again. As I said, it's overpowered. The amount of power, the amount of accuracy behind the shot is ridiculous. And just like that, a little cheeky comeback from 2-0 down. Oh, nice work to get past his opponent. That's super nice. Just keeping onto that ball. Quick flip flapper wanted to get around that corner. He's completely dropped his player, but just couldn't get it back. And that just shows how strong the pie is. The guy completely just dropped the guy without even like... Without even flin flinching, if you want to say it. Oh, that scoop turn was super fast. Little fake shot around the corner. Verb spin. Oh, and that's exactly when the chain skill move starts to come into play. That's beautiful. That's unbelievable. That play, that little teamwork play. That pass from, I think it was Ben Yedda to Ezebiel. Ezebiel to the pie. And he ain't missing from there. Nice, a little middle pass and you're going to get a top bin finish just like that. I tell you what, his run there was unbelievable. Now, a lot of people don't make this run in, in the middle, in between the centre-backs, find the space. And it allowed me just to pass it to him and what a finish. He's let the pie do that. No chance. Oh, he's gone for a diving header. I thought I was holding L2. Thinking, ah, he's going to volley this. Absolutely rifle this top bins. And he went for a header. That's an unbelievable piece of skill there. Look at these little twists and turns. I'll tell you what. He feels so much more agile than the 86 I did a few, I think it was a few months ago. So much more agile. The pie in the perfect spot. Little touch. Oh my God. Come on. If you can't say this guy's finishing is amazing, I don't know if anyone can. The turn, that scoop, the running scoop turn to get the angle and an unbelievable finish. That's an amazing run once again, man. The runs this guy makes, fake shot. Send the guy for a complete hot dog. It was the weirdest finish shot you'll possibly ever see in your entire life. I tried to move as hard as I could. But the guy was just not moving into the right angle. We have got another chance here. The outside foot shot. It's simple as that. If you have the trait, you're scoring goals. Nice. Great positioning once again. That running scoop turn coming into play. Quick agile turns. No one giving him support though. But a great hold up play from him. Oh, that's beautiful from him. That little first time pass is so effective from him. Can we get an angle? Little fake shot. Little shot. Come on. Come on now. He started it. He started it with that little first time pass from him. You, can't, you don't see that from a lot of players. They will screw up that pass. I can tell you that. But the Cruyff turn and the power shot. The accuracy. The power behind the shot. Look at this. The keeper's not saving that. That's top bins. So it is time to review him. And let me say this card has improved immensely. Now... The fact that it was an 87 overall, it started at 86, went to 87, now 88. I'm hoping this card could get a few more upgrades. Even one more upgrade would make this card absolutely disgusting. Because right now, he's doing everything right. 5 foot 9, perfect height, high low work rate. He's not the perfect attacking work rate. I did take, see him make a lot of runs, which I was expecting him more of coming short and picking up the ball than doing a scoop turn around the corner because that is looks like what he's most effective of. Now, the five-star skill moves is unbelievable. The running scoop turn is my favorite skill move on this guy. It's stupid how good it is. The three-star weak foot. I trusted on it. I took a shot of it. It did go in, but at the same time, there was other shots that... <laughs> It went to Narnia, let's just say that. Now, pace, unbelievable. Really, really fast. Outpacing a lot of centre-backs. Finishing-wise, crazy good. And the accuracy, the power behind the shot. Yeah, he missed a, like a few clear cuts, but at the same time, I don't think you're, you're ever going to get a player that's not going to miss, especially in this game. This game, the shooting mechanics, not the greatest. Passing-wise, unbelievable. The one-two plays, the link-up plays. I loved him and Azebiel's link-up. It was crazy, crazy good. Agility, he feels crazy on the ball. That's one thing I didn't see from his 86 overall. 
I hated the way he would move time to time. It would be too clunky, but especially the fact that he's got a bulky body in game. It was the worst. But now, he feels like a god. 84 stamina, lost throughout the whole game. 85 strength, bodying players left, right, and center, causing center backs absolute trouble. 79 aggression as well. He wins a lot of 50 50s. Now, I have to give this card a rating out of 10. I liked him. I liked him a lot. I'm going to give him. I'm going to give him a 9. Ooh, an 8.5. I'm going to give him an 8.5 out of 10. Because I don't believe I can give a player that is only one footed. A 9 or 10 out of 10. I really can't. The freestyle week though is a big, big killer on this card. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.